So I have some feed from yesterday. Still some water here. They're still pretty little, so they're not eating as much right now or drinking water. Jacuzzi time, ducks. Jacuzzi time. What's up, Bernice? Good morning. Just filled this up. Look at that. Already dirty. Already dirty, ducks. This is our egg laying feed. These are for our broilers, our meat chickens. Ooh, it looks good in here. What'd you do, Penelope? Oh, oh, I, I want to show you. Um, so, um, this is mom, this is yours, and then this is my garden. Um, and I planted onions there, and now I'm going to plant, uh, oh, a peppers there. Peppers? Yeah. Oh, wow. It looks good. Yeah. We have some plant starts. And then we like to use boxes as mulch layers as much as possible if we have them. We pulled out all the weeds. Remember all those weeds? Yeah. We pulled out all the weeds. We put some cardboard down because I'm not sure when I'm going to plant. But in the meantime, I didn't want more weeds coming up. We have wild mustard growing in here, so I just fed it to the pigs. And then hopefully I can do this side and lay some more cardboard down. So I'm just collecting all the cardboard that we get. And really, that's just more for weed barrier because we get a lot of weeds, we get a lot of grass growing in, in here especially, and so that just helps it, and then we'll throw either wood chips or compost right on top of it, and then we'll just grow right into it. There you go, chickies. Oh, freshly painted soda land buckets. Brand new. We use some rebar for our row covers. All right, so I'm gonna start soaking the chicken's feed. And this is our, our broilers, our meat chickens. So that feed, that feed's gonna be their feed tomorrow. They still have feed in their trough there. It's a little extra work, I think, to feed that way, to soak their feed first, but we're gonna give it a shot this year. You're not little anymore, Penelope. Come on. Go, horsey. Whoa! Whoa! This is so scary! Come on! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that mama, look it! <laughs> Right, we, need to, we need to fill up some more sandbags. Check out this, guys. So we planted these shiitake mushrooms about a year ago, almost. All right, I'm at my friend Tyler's house, and uh, we're about to do mushrooms. Yeah. Well, sh 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 grow mushrooms? Is that the term? So we're gonna inoculate some logs <laughs> there go, there with the hope there of them spawning some shiitake mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. <laughs> wow, shiitake mushrooms. I mean, I guess we won't really know if it worked for a year. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so we'll know. We'll see where we're at in a year, yeah. and uh, we'll let you guys know yeah. if it works. <laughs> Look at this. Whoa! That's so cool! So that wasn't like that a week ago. These are, these are new. I think because we had some like really heavy rains lately. These logs will continue to produce year after year. Look at that. 
Guys, I did a how-to video of how we grew these shiitake mushrooms. First time growing shiitake mushrooms, and I would say say it's a success. And over the over the years, we're gonna get more coming out of these lo three logs right here. I can't wait. There's more on a shovel. <laughs> That's great. That's all there was in there. Ooh, those are huge. That must have happened in the last two weeks because that wasn't there like a week ago or so. Alright, so I went to Tractor Supply and picked up a cattle panel. Alright, so that's how you put a cattle panel in back of a truck with a snug top. Alright, slowly we started here in the beginning when we first started our garden this year uh, for this season and then we're just working our way over slowly every single day until the whole garden is pretty much planted in the past when we first started here in North Carolina we uh, would plant direct seed everything on Mother's Day and that worked well for us when you harvest everything all at once that can be overwhelming we kind of learned to draw it out you know Every other, every week or two, plant something. No, no, no. Alright, so the end of the day, or in the evening, I guess. Yeah, I need to feed the brothers some food scraps. We have some watermelon. Brothers! Yeah! Got some watermelon for you guys. egg layers and they don't really need a tarp because they have their feathers but I'm just putting this on just to keep it a little extra warm <laughs> I mean this is open and this is open but just the top part just to kind of keep the vent you know keep the air from because it's cold like it's chilly and there's like a cold wind blowing so um, this will keep them warm <laughs> you all right chickies yeah, I really need to make another chicken coop. I keep on saying that. But you do. <laughs> but it's like, uh, all right, making another chicken coop. You know how it is. You guys know how it is, right? Everybody's ready for bed. I don't think the ducks are ready. What's up, ducks? You gonna party tonight? Oh, they're going crazy. I'm just a little leaf. Ah, I've already given them a handful of clover. We're just putting all our animals away to bed. Closing up shop. Closing up shop in here. Closing up the greenhouse. Look at these tomatoes. They look good. Spin these around. These look good. These are San Marzanos. These are Romas. These are Romas. These are delicious tomatoes. Yeah, the rows here look nice here. Yeah, they look really good. I think yeah. I'm going to take that squash plant out. <laughs> Just because I don't want a squash growing in here. It's going to get huge 
and it's gonna get it's gonna take up the whole and it's growing in a weird spot like it's not growing in the corner it's growing like out here and it's gonna just come out so I think I'm gonna take it out because I only want uh, tomatoes and, and peppers mm -hmm.